Hello so beans, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new, make sure to hit subscribe and turn on those post notifications. Today I'm gonna to be answering all of your questions about my new job because after my last video, not only did I not really know exactly what it was, and I was trying to explain to you guys, but a lot of you were like kind of confused, maybe had some concerns. I just wanna talk about all of that today. I also did a first week in my work life. So that's either about to be posted or already is posted. Not exactly sure, but just go to my YouTube channel and turn on post notifications so you know. If it is posted, I'll link it in the description. Real quick before we get started, today's video is sponsored by StoryWorth. Mine was actually a gift for my mom, as you can see by the picture on the front. So first off, if you guys are having trouble, you know, honestly, like parents, anyone that's like near and dear to your heart, grandparents, siblings, you don't know what to get them for the holidays. This is is the perfect gift because it's completely online so obviously it's not going to be affected by any shipping delays so how it works is every week the person that you gift this to is going to receive a question and this question could be something like what's the bravest thing you've ever done in your life and then the person you gifted this to is going to answer those questions throughout the entire year and at the end of the year StoryWorth will send you this book they ship it for free and you get to preserve all of those memories from that year of answering all these various questions so not only will they compile the stories but also some pictures and put together this really amazing book and then you can also get copies of the finished book for like all of your relatives so that you could all cherish that forever and all these stories from a grandparent or parent or anyone it could be literally passed down through generations and it is just something so so special that you really can't get with any other gift with StoryWorth, i'm giving those i love a thoughtful gift from my heart preserving their stories for years to come so go to storyworth.com slash sydney francis and you can save ten dollars on your first purchase you you guys are gonna love this go check them out all right continuing with this video so now that I've actually done the job obviously I have a better way of explaining it and answering questions so let's just hop right in first of all what is my job for those of you who didn't see my last video I am a licensed insurance agent how did I get into this field of work actually one of my friends previously worked at a different type of insurance company where he was getting paid hourly and then he found this and it was like a lot high higher paying jobs and then he found some stuff where it's like completely commission based which is something that's very interesting to me and was interesting to him because that doesn't put a cap on how much money you can make and he was telling me about it he was like yeah i'm gonna get my life insurance agent license no matter what job i decide to do and then we started looking into it more together and decided to join this team on this company and so far it's been amazing and we do all the work together so that's fun too why did i decide this against real estate so actually there is a reason i did think about getting into real estate and i was like man it could be so successful you know my dad could teach me a lot he's been real estate agent my entire life well his entire entire life and my entire life but they live far from me so I'd kind of be on my own um, but looking into life insurance people always need life insurance so it's just a really great industry to be in whether it's life insurance or health insurance just insurance in general people are always wanting or needing insurance so it's just a really great job opportunity honestly what made me decide to get a job other than YouTube I explained this a little bit in my last video, but honestly, I've been feeling a little burnt out recently on YouTube, and it can just be really stressful, and a good way that I've been describing this to family and friends is like, with YouTube, I'm basically selling a product, and that product is myself and my videos. So if people don't like it, it doesn't get enough views, it gets down votes, uh, you know, a video goes viral and people all hate me because of it. It feels very personal, and that's affected my mental health like a lot when I was growing up, because I started this when I was 15. And I would like it to just be something that I don't care how many views I get because I'm not reliant on it for my job and I don't care what people's opinions are of me I just put it out there for fun and stuff that I truly enjoy rather than trying to just make money off of it now obviously it still is going to be a source of income I mean I had a sponsor for today's video and everything but it's not going to be my main source of income so I feel like I can focus more on just having fun with it and not putting all that pressure on myself and that may have been something I was doing myself not necessarily from you guys especially not from the people who like genuinely are part of the siblings fam but but, you know, just putting yourself out there online can be really scary all the time. And I've been wanting to be a little bit more private with my personal life. But because my YouTube channel is about my personal life, that was getting difficult. But now I can make videos about being a working adult. So it, like, is like a win-win, I guess. Have I made any new friends? Um, well, me and my friend Abram are working together. We go do everything together. We do, um, 
but we've been friends. Um, but most of the people in our group don't even live in Texas. They live all over the United States. So not necessarily made friends, but we have these conferences that we're gonna be going to this summer. We'll be, we'll be able to meet people. And our group chat is like literally a hype chat. So it's like, I guess I could technically say they're friends, but we all just like send in what we sold or how many people we contacted that day. And everyone's just like, let's go. So it's really fun. It's a really good energy, positive, hardworking, passionate people. <laughs> Someone asked if I currently have life insurance. I don't because I just started and I didn't know what was going on. But now that I fully understand it, I do want to get some on myself. I don't really need to go into detail because you guys aren't going to understand anything I'm saying. So yes, I am going to get some here soon. What are my career goals? I have um, a number in my head that I want to reach, uh, but I feel like I'd rather just wait till the end of the year to be able to tell you guys. Cause I, I don't know, lately I've been more like, I like to keep my goals to me, my family and my friends, because often when you share your goals on the internet, then people look down on you if you don't reach them or get too hyped if you do reach them. I don't know, I'm just weird about it, but I will probably end up sharing like how much money I make doing this at the end of the year, at the end of 2022 so that you guys know kind of where I'm at in life and stuff. But I do have a number goal in my head. My managers are gonna help me reach that. Everyone in my company is making that much money, so I'll probably be able to do that. Honestly, my goal is to just work as hard as I can because I've never had a job like this where I literally get to just like go out and work as much as I want and basically make as much money as I want. Is there any pay besides commission? No, this is 100% commission based. It's actually crazy. My first day I had three appointments and sold four policies. Um, a lot of people were like really concerned on my last video when I said it was fully commission based and kept saying like, oh, you need to work somewhere that's gonna give you a livable wage. I have never had that. I've been doing YouTube since I was 15. It's fully commission based. If I post a video, I make money, maybe. Or it gets copyrighted and I don't make anything. If I do a brand deal, I get money. If I don't, I don't. It's not like I can just like, do the work and get paid no matter what. It doesn't really work like that. So I've always been on commission-based. Um, pretty much everyone in my entire family has always worked commission-based jobs. We're all very business-oriented, running your own business, being self-employed. So that's what I've grown up on. That's what I've been taught. And personally, I would recommend it to anyone who has the passion and drive for it because you can make a lot more money. So I could get a job somewhere that's gonna pay me a livable wage or something you know, above a livable wage. But am I ever gonna be rich off of that? Probably not. No, because your salary is capped for the year usually. Uh, this is no cap salary and it's like if I want to make money, I got to put in the work, <laughs> which I think is a really great, great way of working because you don't have to limit yourself at all. It doesn't feel like you're working a certain amount of hours for a certain amount of money because you can work all these hours and make a lot more money or a lot little and it will balance out just like it has with YouTube. Uh, but yeah, I love commission based. That's just me though. You know, if that works for you, go for it. I'm definitely not one to ever look down on anyone because of, you know, their job, how much they're getting paid or anything like that. I think everyone should do what works best for them, what's gonna provide for them, what's gonna be able to, you know, be livable for you. What comes with a job like benefits? So once again, since this is, I'm technically self-employed. I am a contracted life insurance agent with this company and my company represents like a bunch of different carriers. So, there are no benefits. I don't get any insurance. I don't get any health insurance, life insurance, none of that with this because I'm self-employed. Once again, just like YouTube. I mean, it's the same thing for people who are real estate agents, hairstylists, it's commission-based, there's no benefits. And I say those two because those were the other two that I was debating on. I had a comment that said like, I was like talking down on real estate and cosmetology. <clears throat> I wasn't, I was just, the reason I said it wasn't those two in one of my videos is because I've talked about doing either of those jobs many, many, many times. Have I ever considered going to college? So life insurance was a two week course. Technically you don't even have to take a course, you just have to pass the test, but it was a two week course that helped me pass the test and I can already start making like real money. So why would I go to college? You know what I mean? Like, I think if you wanna to go to college, you should. It's definitely an option, but you can very easily go into debt and spend a lot of money going to college. And I'm not against college per se. I do think it's a little bit, uh, that's a whole, that's a video for a whole nother, uh, that's a discussion for a whole nother video. But I just like people knowing that there are other options. You know, there's trade schools and then there's all these different like licenses that you can get, such as real estate, life insurance and these are just like two of like many 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 that there are so if you want to skip the whole college thing and just start making money and get into the workforce right away there are those options and that's why I'm not going to college because I'm already working okay and then a lot of people are saying it sounds like an MLM pyramid scheme vibe and is it that is it not okay the way I described it I did such a bad job that that 
is kind of what it sounds like. And I just want to say that I know all about MLMs. Actually, a lot of my siblings and cousins were in an MLM for a while, and I was like, <laughs> you guys are in an MLM. And living in Utah, that's like a huge thing out there. So I know all about MLMs. I know how to avoid them. Um, you know, this isn't like Monet or anything like that, if that's how you even say that. Um, so the way that it works is I have like a manager, but I don't make like money from hiring people on I actually can't even hire anyone under me because I make money selling the product that's it that's where I'm gonna make a 99% of my money at the end of the year if I end up making a bunch of money then my company gives out bonuses just like any other company would you know you work you make a lot of money they'll give you a bonus a lot of companies do that so it's like that I'm selling a real product that actually helps people it's actual life insurance I have to have an actual license it's not some like weird little like scheme where I'm trying to sell this to you but also convince you to join my team I literally never have to have a team if I don't want to I never am gonna ask family and friends to join my team or anything like that um, if one day I decide to become a manager and want to have people work under me which could be you know further down the road then I can do that uh, but I'll still be selling as well so I mean it's the same way that real estate works and the fact that a broker makes a percentage off of all of their real estate agents and then someone above the broker is going to make a percentage on how much the broker makes and all the insurance agents make or and all the real estate agents make so it's the same it literally runs the same as real estate i would say so instead of a broker i have a manager like my dad is a real estate broker so i've seen how that works it's literally works the same way on life insurance basically so hope that somewhat explained it and i just want to let everyone know because i know a lot of people are like oh it sounds good too good to be true it's hard work <laughs> I didn't think it was gonna be easy and I wouldn't say it's easy at all. It's definitely work, but it's not like hard. Like it is, but it isn't. I don't really know. It's like mental toughness, um, but it definitely was work. Like my first day out, like I spent four hours calling and I got, I booked eight appointments from those four hours. So I had three appointments my first day and I happened to sell all of them. I feel like that was just, you know, beginner's luck or God blessing me with that, but it's not gonna be like that every day. It is hard work. You're gonna get no's, but I've actually seen the real tangible money. So I know it's not a scam. <laughs> okay, another question. Are you nervous about not having a steady paycheck as it's fully commission based? No, not at all because that's what YouTube has been. There's been months where I make a ton of money. There's been months where I've barely made any money on YouTube with brand deals, Instagram. That's been my job, so I'm very used to that. Does it require in-person meetings? Um, yes, I go to people's houses actually and sit down at their kitchen table and talk to them. Um, actually, a lot of people in the company have been switching to virtual but they say it's like double the amount of work to convince someone over virtual versus in person so you can do it virtually if you want I guess and a bunch of people were like guessing what this company is I don't like giving out my personal information because I've already had struggles with people trying to give out my address based on information that I've said about myself so I'm not gonna say what the company is but no one has mentioned it from what I've seen in comments or anything like that so and I feel like just to wrap this up I just want to mention some of my goals for the next year couple of years so like basically for the next four or five years I just want to work super super hard you know I'm only 20 so basically till I'm like 25 26 I want to be fully indulged in the workforce and working 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 and make as much money as I can be able to buy a house here in Texas be able to like give away a lot of money to be able to help family friends um, and like be able to donate to my church and stuff I want to get super involved in my community like with my church you know make more friends around here stuff like that and really establish myself I love where I live and I want to stay here I have no um, foreseeable future of moving like I really love where I live I love my friends I love my area and hopefully in the next like couple you know five years or something I mean one of my goals in life is still to be a mom I want to start a family to be able to get married and have kids one day so I just want to work super hard now and then one day I can be a mom and the cool part about my job is I can still work and be a mom um, because uh, I can do it virtually or I could do it part-time and still make a good amount of money So I'm pretty excited I'm excited to see where this first month takes me and then this first year and just you know Who knows where this job is gonna take me in life? That's why I don't really like to set goals because not only could my life completely change But you know, I've given my life to God and whatever he wants for me is what I'm gonna do So whatever happens happens. <laughs> I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching my video Make sure to check out the sponsor story worth today in the description and if you have any more questions I'd be happy to answer them in the comments. Love you guys. Bye